Hello everyone and we're here today with um, our Solent graduate Lydia and our industry expert Sam Phillips. So a uh, welcome both. So you both work in the music industry uh, but it'd be great if you could let us know um, where you're based and what you currently do and what your companies do. So if we start with uh, Lydia. Yeah, um, so yeah, my name's Lydia. I'm an events officer at Nordoff Robbins Music Therapy Charity. So um, we're a charity that uses music to enrich people's lives. Um, we work in um, schools, care homes and hospitals and have our own centres across the UK. Um, and my job is the, um, I work in the fundraising team. So we put on events throughout the year for the music industry um, to, raise, to raise money to keep, keep the charity going. Um, so some of our events include big, big sporting events, gala dinners, and our well-known event, which is our flagship event, the Silver Clef Awards, a big award ceremony uh, that, that takes place once a year that raises up to about a million pounds each time. So um, yeah, so not technically uh, for the music industry, but in the music industry, my job is. And can you tell us how studying at Solent helped you get to where you are today? Yeah, definitely. So um, whilst at uni, although I did the music journalism degree, um, the course was, was quite broad in what I learned. I learned a lot about the music industry um, and it helped me just by being able to, uh, you know, learn all, all, the, all the behind the scenes info about the music industry, um, the lectures and um, the one on one tutoring, obviously that helped as well, but also extracurricular. Um, activities at Solent massively helped me, uh, boosted my confidence as well, I think. Um, yeah, a lot of a lot of good things about Solent. <laughs> Great, thanks. And Sam, could you um, let us know where you work and what you currently do? I can. Uh, I, my name is San and I'm Head of Promoter Operations at a company called Kilimanjaro Live. Um, we produce and promote concerts, um, theatrical events, sporting events, exhibitions, around the UK, but mainly we do uh, we do concerts by all sorts of acts. Uh, it could be black metal bands in tiny clubs to uh, Ed Sheeran in stadiums. So we do a bit of everything. And uh, I just want to say that we work quite closely with Nordoff Robbins, who do a fantastic job and um, are basically our go-to charity um, that mean a lot to us in, in our office and in the industry as a whole. So uh, I'm going to big up Lydia there. Oh, thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs> um, okay, and Lydia, could you tell us um, how you got your first job after graduating from Solent and um, how your career progressed from there? Yeah, absolutely. So um, I graduated in 2016 um, and started applying for jobs just, just before I graduated, really. Um, and I just started going for, for anything and everything. I knew I wanted to be in London. Um, so I just started applying for for as many things as I could. I knew that I probably wasn't going to land my perfect dream job uh, straight away after uni. So um, the first job I, I got was um, not, not very glamorous, but just booking booking staff at music events. So not the best day job, but um, the, the company that I worked for, um, they owned a sister company um, called Wicked Student Nights. And it was a freshers company that I used to just work at about three nights a week. Um, so I'd be sort of working at Ministry of Sound and Fabric and XOY would be working on the door, uh, helping DJs get set up and, and cashing up at the end of the night. I was trying to do as much as I could um, that was, you know, in, related to the music industry. And, and I knew that I wanted to sort of get my foot in the door with events. Um, so, yeah, after about a year there, um, I thought, OK, I probably want to go into events full time now. And then, yeah, so I found the job at, at Nordoff Robbins, uh, found it on LinkedIn. And um, it just seemed like the perfect job for me. It was... Uh, working in events, working within the music industry, but also for, for a non-profit. So uh, yeah, that's how I got my first job. And uh, just some tips for applying for your first job. I think just uh, don't, don't let rejection uh, put you off. I didn't get accepted for probably about 30 applications when I first finished. I was just sending them out left, right and center. I was putting a lot of, a lot of effort into each one and it can be uh, disheartening when you when you get rejected but I think it's just power on and, and you know you'll get accepted when when the, the right job comes along for you hit your skills match up great thanks for the advice and um can you tell us how you got your first job San and how your careers progressed um well I did what I believe to be was the first music industry course uh, in the country a long time ago so um 
I met some really cool people on that course uh, who are still friends to this day and still work in the industry. And one of them had a job with a booking agency that no longer exists. Um, but he was working for a booking agency that represented loads of acts like REM and um, uh, Chris Rear and, and lots of things. And anyway, one of their managers one day phoned up and said, oh, my assistant's leaving. We're looking for somebody. And uh, my friend's boss said to him, do you know anyone? He went, actually, I do. <laughs> and uh, uh, I came, I went up to London for the interview. I was living in Kent at the time, which is where I grew up. Um, and I got the job. And basically at that job, uh, I was a management assistant and I just did anything. And uh, it would be everything from going to the post office to running the band's fan clubs to uh, going into the recording studios when they were recording and filling out MU forms, musicians union forms, anything. I, d I just did that. And that kind of launched me into being able to go and uh, uh, do a bit of everything, actually, because the good thing about management companies, you get an overview of all aspects of the industry. So it recorded live publishing, all sorts. So, yeah, that's what I did. Amazing. And um, could you just let us know your career highlights? Um, so if we go to Lydia first, what have been the highlights so far in your career since you've graduated? Yeah, I'd say um, definitely working on, on the Silver Clef Awards. Um, it's such a such a massive event and we get to work with such big artists, big names. Um, I'd say some highlights were sort of um, being sort of the main liaison for like Roger Waters and Ed Shearer and Dua Lipa, getting to sort of um, spend the day with them, getting to sort of meet, speak to them on a more, more personal level. And then, um, you know, at the end of the day, sort of being able to um, reflect on on what's just happened in that day that so much money has been raised and, and so many cool people have been in the same room. Um, as well as that, I um, write uh, quotes for artists um, for press releases. So I get to sort of write, um, I've done some for Robert Plant and um, Robbie Williams and and then um, Florence and also getting to do like scripts. So um, we had a carol event, a carol service event in December last year, um, our first big virtual event. And I got to write the script for Nile Rogers and it's really quite rewarding uh, having such big names. Uh, yeah, write what you've written really. And um, so that's some of my big, big highlights since, since starting and hopefully I'll get to have a few more big ones <laughs> over the next four years <laughs> since graduating. I'm sure you will. And then um, could you let us know what stands out for you, Sam, in your career to date? Um, I won't lie. I've had a really, really good, uh, loads of really good experiences. So I used to work for Roger Waters Booking Agency. Um, so I worked on Dark Side of the Moon and the Wall Tours. Um, I went to Mexico City, uh, to St. Petersburg. So I've gotten to travel with the job. I've worked with some massive artists such, such as Rolling Stones, uh, older ones like Rod Stewart, Neil Diamond. I worked on Beyonce's first uh, solo UK tour. Um, I've worked at festivals. I did artist liaison at the first ever download festival. Um, Sonosphere 2014, I was really heavily involved with. I was heavily involved with uh, the booking um, of artists for our Stone Free festivals. Uh, that we did, our classic rock ones that we did at London O2, uh, where we basically took over the building and did uh, various acts. It was like a multi-stage festival, but indoors, which is really good for, for oldies like me who are like, I'm sick of walking in the rain. Um, and just, uh, yeah, I've just, what can I say? I go around the world and I, I watch bands and I go to festivals and I've just had a really good time. But um, I mean, at the moment, the, the kind of bands that I work on at the moment are Anything from Andrea to Bocelli, um, arena shows. I tend to work at arena level now because that's what my boss works at. Um, but like I say, we do stadium shows. Uh, we, we do Red Hot Chili Peppers. Um, in the past, I've worked on Iron Maiden, Metallica, Black Sabbath. And uh, I'm just really fortunate that I've gotten to work with a lot of, the, lot of my heroes. Never with ACDC, though, who are my favourite band in the world. But I have travelled around to, so on their last tour, not the one with Axl Rose, but the, the proper one. Uh, I went to various places in Europe to go and see them. I just decided to follow them around and just said to my boss, yeah, I'm, 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 I'm going to be sort of like going off every other weekend for, for a while. And he was like, OK. <laughs> so being able to do that makes me really lucky. Amazing. Oh, well, thank you both. And um, hopefully we'll uh, see you again soon. Thank you.